Hey everybody, it's Savage Sprinkles. I am here with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's part two of the new Final Fantasy VII. Um, let's go ahead and start with a quick recap so we'll play the story so far. It'll get us up to where we are. There's so much to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, and our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. That's our boy Cloud. The anti Shinra rebels. Avalanche. Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. Sephiroth. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, a cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. 
We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. Awesome. All right, so let's go. Let's see. I just deleted the thing. Okay. Okay. So we got to skip a couple things. It's in the demo. Don't worry. I think it says you may. I don't know if we have to skip it or not. Ah, we're running. Can anyone else see those? So that's like a lot going on right now. I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. I'm wondering if the townspeople can see the, and part of the road has like, collapsed. fate spirits that were the around that whole fight. From the is it seems like average citizens don't see those, all the chaos that they cause. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It oh, of course it's the Shinra Broadcasting the fall Service. Of the Sector 7 plate culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. SNN Net News. Well, the destruction is horrific. Just holes blasted through the entire thing. It's crazy. Seems like things got a little out of hand, you know? See the Mako still? Ooh, this feather's white. It's the Zack! This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It, uh, the fall of the Sector 7 place. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought I had another reactor blew up. Which must have been zero, caused by the tornado! Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Ah, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect You're right. unaccounted for. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. Uh-oh. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back 
over here. Get on board. Let's take off. The rescue team has pulled people from Tifa. the rubble. Tifa. Quick, get the camera off. <gasps> Come on. This way. Uh-oh. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. Oh, everyone looks like crap. There's Aerith. What? Well, now we know what we gotta do. <gasps> wow, it's brutal. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Yeah, force a stranger to do this. You'll be fine. I was wondering why the the helicopter was like bouncing. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, we gotta run. Dun 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 dun. It's a rescue mission. We're gonna climb these stairs. Probably gonna have to fight some people. Wait, how do you? I can't. I can't pull out my sword. Oh no. Hello, welcome. There's the helicopters. What the heck is that? It's melted, so I guess it's not attacking me, which is good. Might be the one you're looking for, but probably not. You know what I mean? They aren't really doing anything. So oh, there we go. Fi finally, someone's doing something to try to stop me. Too late, though. your friends in there on, I'm just saying maybe not maybe that one was a bad guy plane all right Ooh. Ah. Sorry. that guy's got fire I noticed that his name was flame trooper but I didn't realize that would be actual fire so. heck yeah Yeah, I think this is cool. Get to play some characters that we haven't really gotten to see. Gotta get our buddy, can't leave him! Don't leave him! Bro, you're gonna leave him? It's not safe. You're strong, carry both. <laughs> no. Where's the ancient? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her! Just shut the hell up! It's search! Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. What is this? Hmm. 
orb fell out. Grab it. That's true. That's true. I don't know why they made it in the first place that Cloud was here and not Zack. It doesn't really make sense, but hey. All now we right get both. Then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. Just there a was babe. Hardly work for soldiers back then. The little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. You betcha. Me and my good friend Sephiroth. <laughs> hey, rein it in. Sorry, no can do. Gotta get my squats in. Any way that I can, man. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Uh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. <laughs> Got some fiends at our 12! It said I could skip it. And I'm not sure if it's going to skip it. I think you it's not one, skipping it. <laughs> one. Or maybe it's just going to play it like a cutscene because I already played it. Because so far it's just been a cutscene. It hasn't made me do anything yet. No way! I got this! Hmm. This is fine. Oh my god. He was in a different league from the rest of us. True.
Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. That is Tifa's papa. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. See, he's so nice. What a dick. <laughs> From there, you can view your party stats, adjust your settings. Do 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 do. We're so glad you're here. Can you show us some magic? Can you show me some magic? Heck no, children. It's a good thing those soldiers are here. Now we can rest easy. Hey, are you like a famous person? Totally famous. Shard Sangan, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. I'm getting molested. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well toned, but lacking mass. You need to humble, pick. yes. <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, one hundred and twenty-eight. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. Yeah, right. What? Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I can't apologize for things I said five years ago. You weren't even there, Tifa. Goodness! Is that you? Uh, the survey team is the coolest. Man, Wait, can we go to the store? Do we have money? Do I have money? Hello. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Yeah, that would explain. Because how else 
what? would this come to be? I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. Alright, so I still can't buy anything from them. I gotta catch a glimpse of Sephiroth. Then I stop by my mops. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. People are thirsty for Sephiroth. Yeah. Go on. We gotta see our mama. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. Thirsty for Cloud. First time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. Such a mom. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. My boy has some unresolved feelings. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh huh. I'm just trying to figure out how much hair gel he uses. It must be a lot. Yes, I did, I Tifa. You might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> but most of them had to do with you. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Gonna go to Tifa's room. Gonna check out her stuff. 
This isn't her room. This is. Ooh! I'm gonna steal from Tifa. Nice. Stealing from her parents, I guess. You went into my room? <laughs> I did. <laughs> you went through my stuff? No, I didn't. If that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. I wasn't in the demo. I was very bad. Did you actually play it? I could try this again. It was rough the first time. Let's try it again, I guess. Okay, let's see. I forgot how to do this. Don't we have to select the music? Hold on. Where's my music? I don't know where my music is. Maybe I don't get music this time. You could have just left it alone, you know. Yeah. What were you even thinking? Yeah, uh. Don't wait to <laughs> <hate you>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to play the music. They're embarrassed of me. I'm embarrassed of myself. Well, this is fine. Yeah, nothing to say at all. Where's the music? Nope. I don't know how to find the song. I had, in the demo, you found, like, Tifa song, and you could play Tifa song, but I don't see how to do that. And I don't know enough about music to just play something off the top of my head, so I guess we're going to quit, and they're going to mock me some more. That's fine. <laughs> One day we'll play music nicely. All right, moving on with our life. We need to leave these men in peace so that they can rest up for tomorrow. Welcome back. Sephiroth has already gone upstairs. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. And what you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. We'll do.
I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud, you're late, bro. We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian, Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad! Oh, I thought the mayor was Tifa's dad, but I guess the mayor isn't you Tifa's dad. Still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. Be but I feel like they must be, be related because they're all wearing this outfit okay. together as a family. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. I don't know. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. I you sure can ask am. Anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. Besides, she's on her way to being a badass. We just learned this. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. to play our box smashing mini game smash as many boxes as you can while you're on your way birds oh so pretty you probably already know this but our reactors the first of its kind it really put Mount Nebel on the map I've seen a few reactors in my time but none took a breathtaking view who could tire of it yes yeah, so Everyone. pretty eventually Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. Look at these. I think you mean business trips. Mountain spires. No Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Jumpy, jumpy. Deers! Or whatever they are. Oh, look at them. Oh my god! They jump so big. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so. We can't all sprint up a mountain all the time. Like woman. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Yes, you really are the best there is. <laughs> Jealous clown. Her teacher sees aptitude in her. Uh 
I'm trying to see if I can go this way. I can't run this way, but apparently I can slowly walk this way. I don't really see anything, so I guess we'll continue on. Ooh, boxes! Ooh, piece of candy! Gosh. Look at that! Some mega potions! near the village and they're not nice they look nice and friendly i think i got this then they're all yours copy that Trophy. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. That's I right. Guess not. You leave it all to me. Huh? I'll handle it, bro. Don't worry. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> Sephiroth, you hurt my feelings before. Okay. Skip to the village. Skip to me being sad. Yes, I will. I will skip to me being sad. We fight monsters. We have a cool time. Me and Seth are the best bros. Um, if you haven't seen it, check out my demo video. You'll see everything that happened. So we get back to town. We're back in our hotel. Sephiroth isn't here. What the heck is that kid up to? Let's ask around. Let's see where he is. I wonder if it lets me keep the material and all the stuff I should have picked up. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Busy? Yeah, busy. Mm hmm? Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. inside the mansion something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor too much exposure to Mako then we ought to bring him some medicine let's see if we can go into Tifa's house door is locked was that Tifa's house or is this one Tifa's house that was my mom's house this is Tifa's house god everyone locks their doors in this town if only I could forewarn them that it's probably time to leave But we can't. It's a canon event. I saw him headed toward the mansion. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. I just wanted to take a second to check around the perimeter. I don't really see anything. Okay, let's go confront our buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I want to break these, but they're unbreakable. Who even does that? coming to check on you because you've been acting a little weird. So 
took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. <gasps> a piano! Bing bong, bing bong bong. Alright. Too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Turn back. Turn back. What does this one say? Pandemonium? My proton pack, I didn't bring it. Left it at home. Hey, buddy. Hey, friendo. You good? Excavated from a two thousand year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M-E-G-L 77-1977 Genova Verified as an ancient uh, M-E-G-L 913-1977 Genova Project approved So, they named the life form Genova And once they understood what she was They grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. Hmm. And ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. What does it mean, Sephiroth? <laughs> ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long-dead ancients initiative that resulted in my conception or rather my creation the crowning glory of professor gas wondrous experiment he created you <sighs> you're not human he gets I 
I should go. Mother is waiting. Up until this moment, I felt bad for him. I felt bad for everything. Hey, hey hold on. Asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Mama. Hey, you. Get in there. The villagers need your help. Oh. Am I going the wrong way? This is where I came from, right? Hold on. So I'm going to assume I'd go right instead. There. Into the village. Ooh. Ouch, it's hot. introduced to not the Sephiroth we knew, but the Sephiroth who is the scourge of Nibelheim. I just don't think he needed to do this. No, don't be this guy.
messed up. <laughs> I just don't get why he's doing this. So there's the there's the town's people holding him off. Let's see the mayor. I see someone else. I'm not sure if that on the left is Tifa's dad or if one of these men is Tifa's dad. Maybe, maybe not. But either way, he's killing all of them. Just slicing and dicing. Not a care in the world. Why isn't he killing Cloud? I don't know, because he wants Cloud to suffer. He wants Cloud to watch this happen. He wants to hurt Cloud's feelings. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I have gone there to hide. Okay, so her dad is still alive right now. Showed up. Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> Mother, 
I have come for you. Now open the way for me. Mama, let me in. this is you were asking me Jerry if I saw the part where she got stabbed and I said no I sure didn't apparently it was not in the demo <laughs> that that happened <laughs> oh god quick pour some potion on it So Cloud's making a choice here to not follow Sephiroth, to just take Tifa and help her instead. You promised you'd save me. If I was ever trapped or in trouble. be too late. He's gonna be gone. Here I am, your son. Mother, together we will reclaim our world, and I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! again the ones who robbed you of the planet your planet but there's no need to be sad mother because I'm here for you now and forever You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. Oh, we think my she's village. dead. But she's not dead. My home. Oh, Cloud. You need to work on your triage skills. They were mine by right. Not wrong, sir. This planet, too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but <coughs> Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Right. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. Yep. What I meant was... Yes. Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folk. <laughs> it's it okay, bro. Just say, say what's that. true. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, 
He's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. Destroying the planet. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. Right. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Uh, oh no, you don't. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> <Sweet dreams. laughs> See you could cuddle with the tiger. Be like, scoot over, you big boy tiger. Hey, Aerith, you awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. But he says he was, and he says he was with you, but you say you don't remember being with him? Hold on, before we talk to her, let's look at the sleeping kitty. Oh, he's so sleeping. He could share that bed with Barrett. Or Barrett could have been like, Cloud, give me your bed. He's too big for the couch. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Oh my god, she's running.
Or rather, what is she? I don't know that you killed her. I don't know that for sure. Where did she go? I'm gonna guess she went up. To the roof. <clears throat> Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <gasps> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the <coughs> one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Is it that you <clears throat> can't answer or won't answer? Because I think that you don't know where you were, Cloud. Every time you think about it, your brain gets all fuzzy wuzzy. So I think you just don't know. Hey, are these those same kind of flowers? I think they are. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Oh no. <gasps> we hurt her feelings. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Night. <laughs> Tomorrow is another day. Now, let me pause there. <clears throat> so Me and Tifa are kind of on the outs. I don't think that's unreasonable. We seem to... I don't know if Tifa's keeping any secrets, because she was like, look at my scar. This did happen. I'm fine. I got carried off by my uh, 
boxing instructor or whatever. <laughs> um, but Cloud sort of has some secrets, so. Um, and I don't think it's not that he's being forthright. I think it's just that he can't answer. But that's okay. I think we're going to go ahead and end our first episode here, and we'll pick it up in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. You can find me on TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube as Savage Sprinkles. Have a great night, everybody. Bye!